so now in this video we'll continue from you know um, paragraph 8 of this um, story called my childhood of apj abdul kalam right so we've completed till paragraph 7 and uh, now in paragraph 8 we are going to look at a new character okay now uh, kalam here introduces um, another character in his story okay who is his science teacher and his name is Shiva Subramania Ayer. Okay, so now Shiva Subramania Ayer, what he was an orthodox again, Brahmin. All right, uh, and he had a very conservative wife. Okay, very orthodox Brahmin and a very conservative wife. But now uh, let's see ki kun parale hamilai Abdul Kalam le wahan ko science teacher like chilaun bhaga sa. Okay, so. In the beginning, here he says, on the whole, the small society of Rameshwaram was very rigid. Okay, it's a rigid. Rigid means cutter uh, just So, for example, which is not uh, rigid, magic, they would not easily bend their rules. They would not easily, uh, you know, change their method of doing things. So, uh, something which is not flexible is rigid. Okay. Mm. And yes, they would segregate. That means segregate when you shoot down away. Especially when it came to different social groups. Alright. And here we had a science teacher who was Shiva, Shiva Subramanya Ayer. And though he was an orthodox Brahmin, this word here makes a lot of difference. Though by birth he was an orthodox Brahmin. And he had a very conservative wife. That means it may purano soch bako, new thinking na bako, you know. Purano riti rivaj le follow gane, a conservative wife. Alright. But he himself, okay. Though he was all of this, but he himself was something of a rebel. Right. So rebel when he is somebody who probably this about, he does not follow what his, uh, you know, family follows or, you know, like noya kura haru, noya experience haru man parsa and he would like to try that out and to uh, old thoughts haru ma comfortable hune halko man chai na he would rebel if there's something he didn't like he would voice it out or something he would do to rebel gane karthi okay so he did his best okay to uh, break social barriers this teacher of his which is in society ma Segregation got theo, chutain theo, I koi tulo, koi sano, dhani, gari, tula jat, sano jat, yo dharam theo, dharam, and a junior barrier create correctly manchile. He always tried to break it, so that's why he is known as a rebel. Okay, so, uh, so what he did is so that from people from varying backgrounds could mingle easily, mingle when you go, gul mil no when you mix up on a gul mil no way. So that is that is what his attempts used to be. So yeah, but he used to spend hours with me. That means with Abdul Kalam and would say, Kalam, I want you to develop. Okay, ki banteri teacher Kalam, I want you to develop so that you are on par. That means at equal level with the highly educated people of the big cities. So as a teacher, it seems like he uh, opened. Kalam's mind into thinking big, you know, probably Kalam from the background he was in, you know, and the kind of segregation just with your society, maybe he would have never thought of something big. But it was this teacher who developed in him that cities are highly educated people are at par, this is how I want you to develop, this teacher would mention, okay, and in paragraph 9, we see that one day, so this teacher, he invited uh, Kalam uh, to his house for a meal. So probably dinner, lunch, whatever, or a khana, like, will I invite Kalam to And his wife, I mean, that his wife was a conservative wife, I mean, I mean, so his wife, when he saw this happen, his husband bring, uh, you know, a Muslim to an Orthodox Hindu family, what was her reaction? Okay, so his wife was horrified. Okay, she was horrified at the idea again, again, that a Muslim boy was invited to have dinner or to have food with 
um, this Brahmin family and that too in her ritually pure kitchen. अब यो कुरा ला मिले I don't know if we will if we will be able to relate it. Kina mane I don't know tapay arko ghar ma kun family liyo ekdam ek kitchen lai chen ritually hai ekdam aur there are some families who do that or kitchen lai chen ekdam ritually every morning unale chokho ga raksha okay pure raksha chokho raksha so basically most of them would be probably Hindu and uh, you know uh, maybe yes again Brahmin families they would Uh, religiously every day do that in the kitchen you know keeping the kitchen ki- clean of course then in a masu mangsa the pakni kurai chai na but at the same time they would perform some rituals to keep the kitchen pure and clean okay and so imagine this to thau ma chai usko husband le avra muslim keta lai dinner dinner ma lancha hai so she what she did as her reaction so number one she was horrified hai na number two she refused to serve kalam she refused she said i'm not going to serve this boy this muslim boy in my kitchen you know so what did shiva subramanya ayer do so he was an interesting fellow okay so he was not perturbed bani thing you know so simply what it means is um who uh, disturb bhai na who atale na okay he didn't feel any anxiety he didn't feel any concern or like nothing bothered him okay so he didn't even get angry he didn't even get angry at his wife what he did instead instead ule okay if you're not going to serve me all right i'm going to serve him when it's the paralin but instead served me with his own hands when about sorry and he served goryo and sat down beside him and uh, and also ate with him okay so you saw pe kura je usko wife ne ide rakh di his wife watched us from behind the kitchen door okay and he had one lesson kalam le that i wondered whether she had observed any difference in the way i ate rice drank water or cleaned the floor after the meal okay so generally that's what they did dress una ko dastur ma hai una ko garne tarika ma they would eat probably sit on the floor and eat you know if you look at the picture tapai page number 73 ma image dekhnu huncha that they're sitting on the floor agari khana bichayeko cha and they are eating so uh, so what they would do is they would eat their food they would drink water and then after eating they would ke maila padeko cha floor ma bhanne they would clean the floor also okay so he was just wondering am i doing the way she expects it or wants it or mo kasto chu gardechu bhanne khalko he had this concern how how she is you know judging him or observing him bhanne khalko okay so uh then when i was leaving his house shiva subramanya ayer invited me to join him for dinner again the next weekend so not that was not just one time affair but this teacher again said so he was going home and he said would you he again invited next weekend so weekend and saturday sunday kunai din would invite gar sa so please join us for dinner again banera so there was another invitation okay so then what happened how did uh, kalam feel about it hey eh? so observing my hesitation he told me not to get upset okay saying so kalam of course usko buri le i will not serve this boy bhane usko i'm sure he must have heard or seen you know the usko wife ko reaction so uh, kalam was hesitant when he was invited again and then uh, when he saw that he was hesitant ule after lagi rakhcha bhanda kini chai what he did is he told him not to get upset and what did he say he said yeah so this is quote on quote ule khud this is the on ki uh, bancha um uh, passive voice ma chai active voice ma chai directly hai so once you decide to change the system ule bhanda cha once you decide to change the system such problems have to be confronted okay so basically what he's trying to say is and this teacher hey this teacher again i'm like again pori and he was a rebel okay so ule tyo jun purano tarika jun system cha garne tarika jun system chali aayeko pratha cha chali aayeko system cha he would not do uh, that way but if he if there's something he didn't like he would voice it out or he would do something different he was a rebel so again he said once you ule afno kalam lai ki banu aura gyan dinu bhaya that once you decide to change the system and it could be anything any kind of a system it could be uh, it could be ghar kai kunai garne system 
है या फिर तिमीहरु को फ्यामिलीले गरिरहेको एउटा दस्तुर कुनै हुन सक्छ या फिर सोसाइटी मा चलिरहेको चलन हुन सक्छ एनीथिंग फर दैट म्याटर इफ यु वांट टु चेन्ज अर इफ यु वांट टु ब्रिंग अ चेन्ज इन इवन इन द एजुकेशन सिस्टम अर एनी सिस्टम पोलिटिकल व्हाटएवर ओके त्यसको लागि चाहिँ इफ यु डिसाइड टु ब्रिंग द चेन्ज तिमीले डिसिजन बनाइ सकेको छौ भने चाहिँ दैट मीन्स इट्स नॉट गोइंग टु बी इजी प्रब्लम्स आउँछ ओके एन्ड सच प्रब्लम्स ह्याभ टु बी कन्फ्रन्टेड त्यो प्रब्लम भएर चाहिँ भाग्नु भएन वी ह्याभ टु कन्फ्रन्टेड द्याट मिन्स हामीले त्यो प्रब्लमको सामना गर्नुपर्छ फेस टु फेस गर्नुपर्छ ओके सो दिस इज वाज वन वाइज वर्ड वाइज सेन्टेन्स अ वाइज थिङ द्याट द टिचर शेयर्ड विथ विथ कलाम ओके सो देन व्हाट ह्यापन्ड व्हेन आई भिजिटेड हिज हाउस द नेक्स्ट विक सो यस सो त्यति भनेपछि कलाम अन्डरस्टुड एन्ड ही डिड गो अगेन द सेकेन्ड टाइम अल्सो and this time it was different okay his the teacher's wife took me inside her kitchen ule afale usko kitchen bhitra loge so which she had previously ke bhane thyo le that usko pure kitchen ma i can't have a muslim boy in here but now second time ma he no oh, she took kalam inside her kitchen and she served him food with her own hands so whatever bura buri ko bich mein whatever must have happened that is probably the detail is not given but we see that there is there is a change in the woman in the wife okay and and um, so we see that a difference has been made right usko husband le gareko act le at least society pura sansare na badle ta pani at least one person has changed and the one person ko life ma the other difference paniko cha okay so further when you go uh, paragraph 10 ma uh, so then the second world war was over okay so now again he's saying agi starting ma ule second world war 1931 ko 1939 ko usko kura sunayo now here in the story again second world war khatam bhai sakeko cha and then ya bhane cha that india's freedom was imminent ओके सो दैट मीन्स इंडिया को फ्रीडम एकदम होने नहीं वाला है कन्फर्म जो नहीं इट इज अबाउट टू हेपन भाई ओके सो देन देन अगेन इंडियंस विल देन देर इज दिस वॉट गांधीजी सेट लगेन एक्टिव वॉइस में इंडियंस विल बिल्ड देयर ओन इंडिया गांधीजी ने डिक्लेयर कर ओके सो द होल कंट्री वॉज फिल्ड विथ एन अनप्रेसिडेन्टेड अप्टिजम सो अनप्रेसिडेन्टेड भादा खेल कस्तो खाल अप्टिजम भादा खेल तो अगेन पोजिटिविटी हई गुड थट गुड फील आईहाल है तर यह पोजिटिविटी कस्तो थे भादा खेल अनप्रेसिडेन्टेड थे भाई सो अनप्रेसिडेन्टेड इज समथिंग दैट हेज नेवर बीन डन और नोन बिफोर ओके सो द होल कंट्री तो इंडियंस पैला दे हेड नट इवन थट और इमेजिन दैट वी कैन एवर फ्री आर सेल्स फ्रम द ब्रिटिश रूल सो सम अफ अस यू नो सम अफ द इंडियंस ड्रेम्ड दैट बिग ड्रीम एंड मेनी फर इयर्स एंड इयर्स इम्पोसिबल ड्रीम जो समझी रखे थे बट स्लोली एंड स्लोली स्लोली एंड ग्रेजुअली वट हेपन इज तो ड्रीम चाहे रियलिटी होना गयो एंड देन वेन सेकेंड वर्ल्ड वॉर खत्म भे इट वॉज लाइक येस दिस दिस इज अबाउट टू हेपन या इंडिया विल एक्चुअली एंड फाइनली बी फ्री भूरा एकदम एमिनेंट भे सो गांधीजी को जो डेक्लेसन थी दैट इंडियंस विल बिल्ड देर ओन इंडिया भादा खेल तो मंत्री को वट काइंड अफ द वट काइंड अफ फिलिंग और वट काइंड अफ you know uh, what was their experience what were they going through or facing when they think say unprecedented optimism optimism is to optimism jun optimism unale pahila kaile pani experience gareko thena never done before okay namale tapai lai likh dekhe chu so then when it i asked my father for the permission to leave rameshwaram and study at the district headquarters in ramanath puram so then usle afno very then he go once he is done with his studies he asked he wanted to study further okay and so last paragraph now we'll see what happened so yani this is this image of how the wife served so this is the orthodox hindu origin hindu or ko orthodox hindu or ko actually unhe lest lag hunchu yo yo ki janai jasto huncha and they wear the dhoti and they have their head bald with this mark on their forehead and they have this thing over here okay and muslim religion prior you you must have seen is to have to belong okay 
and so uh, you see that um, i i am uh, i was really uh, you know impressed and i was trying to make a connection i don't know how many of you all thought of another book so see students before we finish i would like to just um, talk to you about text to text connection okay so this is one story that we read right ani ye behind my we have already read another chapter another story we read just ko message kata kata mil cha yo singa hai about harmony in religion hai so jat pat dharm isto kura ma chai segregation ya fir discrimination hunu hundaina bhanne khalko out a message hamile और अर्क लेसन में पाए थे एंड दिस विल बी लाइक अ चैलेंज टू यू अल इफ यू अल फिगर आउट कि मेसेज हाई ये रिलिजिस टलरेंस भूरा कौन अर्क स्टोरी में हमें पढ़े यू हेव टू फाइंड दैट आउट दैट्स अ चैलेंज फर यू अल ओके सो विथ दैट वील मूव ऑन टू द लास्ट प्याराग्राफ विच इज प्याराग्राफ इलेवेन अफ दिस स्टोरी शर्ट स्टोरी So then he told me as if thinking aloud okay he told me as if thinking aloud abul i know you have to go away to grow so this is something the father baule banu bhai re abul i know you have to go away to grow i know then wali ki banu bhai sir another question does the seagull not fly across the sun alone and without a nest so again what a beautiful uh, comparison drawn here right uh, सीगल सब कंपेयर कर सीगल इज जो सीगल ये बर्ड हो जो हमें मेन कह देख भी कोई किनार पूरा देख दे आर द वंस हु जस्ट डाइव गो अप द स्काई डाइव एन एंड देन दीज आर बर्ड्स हमें ये देखतेन तर जहाँ सी हो नजिक में पाँच सीगल यू कैन अलवेज Look up and find out more about them, right? So here, question going is: Does the seagull not fly across the sun alone and without a nest? Right? So here, in exam, we have to apply. So it's like as if the father is giving uh, his consent. Jun chorali chode theerki that he would want to go and study outside and would want to study further. Man, hearing jay, it's his way of saying yes. I agree to it. है मेरे पर्मिशन छो बट सो ब्यूटिफुली इस ओके पर्मिशन ग्रांटेड ना किस्त पारे भन्न पे अबुल आई नो यू हेव टू गो अवे टू ग्रो डज द सीगल नट फ्लाई अक्रस द सन अलोन एंड विदउट अ नेस्ट इट्स अ वंडरफुल अफ से थिंग वंडरफुल वे अफ से एक्चुअली कि ये पर्मिशन ग्रांटेड यू कैन गो आउट एंड स्टडी यू नो यू कुड हेव इजली सेट दैट बट हाउ पोर्टिक द वे हिज फादर एज you know expressed his uh, feeling so then he quoted khalil gibran to my hesitant mother okay so khalil gibran is an out a um i'm forgetting now but usko he he is a poet basically hai right? and he's he's got this book written um and usko poems are ekdam spiritual and ekdam deep meaning ba ko beautiful poems huncha i hope i'll remember and i'll send you some of his work okay so he quoted khalil gibran to my hesitant mother so i imagine of course you know i'm accustomed to they would so attached to their kids they wouldn't want to send their kids away ai mero nani mero chhora mero chhori bhanne garcha haina so ule aama la bhane cha your children are not your children they are the sons and daughters of life's longing for itself they come through you but not from you you may give them your love but not your thoughts for they have their own thoughts wow how beautiful right eh? um i don't know how many of your uh, fathers are uh, as poetic as uh, abdul kalam's father but my father surely isn't poetic at all and yeah it is amazing i'm sure it would be so amazing to have somebody so philosophical and uh, like you know, simple kura lai simple sajilo para na bhanera so poems and beautiful words describe karne how wonderful uh, a man who's a father to i more after reading this story i am more you know inclined and feel more inquisitive towards abdul kalam's father more than abdul kalam himself you know kosto je manche thela bhanera i am just so impressed with this man i hope you too are 
ओके सो जस्ट लुक एट द लास्ट उसको आमा उसको वाइफ लाई उसे समझाने को लगी छोरा पढ़ना जानु पर्स अलाउ हिम भन कस्ट ब्यूटिफुल अगेन आई एम रिडिंग इट योर चिल्ड्रेन आर नट योर चिल्ड्रेन दे आर द सन्स एंड डॉटर्स अफ लाइफ लंगिंग फर इट सेल्फ दे कम थ्रू यू बट नट फ्रम यू यू मे गिव दम योर लव बट नट योर थट्स फर दे हेव दे ओन थट्स ब्यूटिफुल ओके सो विथ दिस द लेसन इज ओवर ओके मै इसको ट्रांसलेट कर एक्सप्लेन कर इसको ब्यूटिफुल मिनींग म बिगा चाहे तब आप रिड कर रिड ओवर एंड ओवर एंड ओवर एंड हेव फाइंड अ मिनींग फर इट्स आपने योर ओन यूनिक मिनींग अफ दिस दिस पर्टिकुलर पोर्सन ओके